Hello, my yogi loves. So today's practice, we're gonna get started in child's pose. I don't have a yoga mat, because it's on the boat, which is an hour away. So it's gonna be real interesting. Anyways, child's pose. I hope there's no dog poop on the floor. Yeah, yours, it would be yours. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Drop into your breath. into all fours, and we're going to begin with some cow-cat, moving gently, slowly letting your breath partner with your body. So I read this interesting article today that says that 80% of the content of the internet this pornography. Take a couple more rounds. So I am doing my best <laughs> to help combat that amount with some yoga and meditation. Because I find that to be alarming. Coming to stillness. Inhale, right leg up. Left arm up. Just pausing here. What's even more interesting to me is they talk about ethical pornography where, you know, the women have signed a release and they're really intended to be there. But apparently lots of the sites don't require this kind of thing. And so a lot of women are actually being trafficked into porn. Um, I just can't imagine. Yeah. Yeah, the negativity affiliated with that and seeping into every corner of the world. We're just hanging out here, holding it. Lower down. Other side. And then on top of that, there's been more yogic abuse coming out of these gurus taking advantage of people. Um, I learned a new term called love bombing where studios tell you how wonderful you are and how much you'd be a great teacher, whether they believe it or not, just because they want you to sign up. Pretty sure that's what happened to me. Here we are anyways. And release, downward facing dog. So this all just has me thinking about integrity in every instance, right? Like from what we consume online to how we interact with people. So giving disingenuous, disingenuous compliments. Does that give you bad karma that stays with you? I don't know. Ragdoll. And it makes me think about my personal mission, which is to make you your own guru, right? I would absolutely love for you to be able to have your own practice every morning, wake up, meditate every night, yoga, and to live the path without need of any leader. That's the goal. Inhale, rise up. But if that's the goal, how do the teachers make millions? Fascinating. Grab your left wrist, lean to the side. Come back to the center, other side. And then back to center, cactus the arms, C the back. Making a letter, letter C, right? One more breath. Inhale, back up to neutral. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Left hand to the floor. Bend the right knee and twist. Other side. Bending the left knee, right hand down, left arm up. Exhale, 
and fold. Coming to another ragdoll. Inhale, halfway lift, pause here. Lower belly in, shoulder blades down and together, neck long. Rock the weight forward so the heels lift. And then back so the toes lift. Maybe the whole foot. Again, rock forward, backwards, one more time each way. And then hang. Walking the hands out just a little bit, feet back, come into your high plank. I don't know, I think that fascinating. Ugh, I don't know. Side plank, left arm down. This idea that the very people who say they're here to help us really aren't. Take that top arm overhead, reach away from the toes. It kind of makes me think of those Tony Robbins courses, right? Like, you always need one more. Other side. They never say like, oh, you have the tools now. Go and use them. Take your top arm over. High push up. Lower down. Belly to the ground. Inhale, lift up the heart. Exhale, drop the shoulder. Inhale up. Exhale down. Again. One more time, each side. Letting your breath guide you. Back to center, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Breathe. Right leg forward, warrior one. Inhaling up. Warrior two. Down, go. Oh, pardon me. High push up. I'm a liar. Side plank. Left arm down. Take your top arm over. Other side. Top arm over, high plank, lower down, up dog or cobra, downward facing dog, exhale. <sighs> right leg forward, low lunge. Pressing the hips down and forward. Take a 
low here if you want to. Left leg forward. Downward facing dog. Feet to hands, halfway lift. And bow. Inhale, rise up. Hands can stop at the hips. I'll go ahead and face you here. Inhale, right knee up. Open to the side, working the hip points forward. Back to the center. Release. Other side, make sure your bottom foot, your standing foot is at 12 o'clock. Open to the side. Back to the center. Release. Shake it out, grab some wall. Come to this side of this painting here. Back it up so your glutes are on the wall. Feet probably won't be touching the wall, but you want your glutes on the wall. Inhale, right knee up, grab the knee, press open to the side. So both glutes are gonna stay flat on the wall. And this is how you know your opening is coming from rotation in the hip, as opposed to like turning, right? Stay for a few more breaths. Release, setting up. Other side, start with the bend knee forward, open out. And release, shake it out, come onto the ground, still by the wall. Get your booty real close to the wall. You're going to take a frog pose, but on the wall. So feet are flat, turned out. Knees follow the toes. So knees are pressing out. The hip bone in the glute is rotating in. And if you'd like to apply gentle pressure with your hands or arms, please do. So this is a more accessible version of frog pose than when we lay, like right normally we would just flip this over belly to the ground. And when we do it that way, gravity is pushing the hips down so it can be a little more intense. Here, you're getting to dictate with your hands how much pressure you want. So I made fried pork chops for dinner, and I left my plate out, and I can hear Ellie licking it right now. Ellie! A couple more breaths. Working deep inhales and exhales so you can settle into the pose as much as possible. This is deep opening. So be okay or know that it can be really uncomfortable.
All right, gently walk the feet back together, keeping the knees bent as close to the wall as possible. Take your right ankle to your left knee, creating a figure four. You're gonna gently take your hand to the knee and press the opposite way. So the hip is now opening the opposite way it was just a moment ago. And if you need to scoot further away, then that's what you do. One more breath here. And release. Coming back to the center, setting up other side. And our hope here, right, is to allow the gentle pressure to really get into those muscle fibers. But it could be that just coming into this is enough, okay? So then that's what you do. Release. Take your arms to a T. Drop your knees to the right. If you're still near the wall, you can place the soles of your feet on the wall and use that to help deepen the twist. So you're gonna leverage your hand on your knee, your feet into the wall, and get a real deep twist here. One more breath. Coming back to center, pausing at center, and then twisting to the other side. Acknowledging the difference in each side and taking it easier or getting deeper depending on what you need. Opportunity to have space between your thoughts. It's in that space where your intuition and power lies, where the inner guru can awaken. back in the here and now. Come to a fetal position on either side. Allow three breaths to help seal in your practice. up to a simple seat.
hands meet at heart center. The place in me that knows I am my own guru acknowledges the place in you that knows you are your own guru. And together we say, Namaste. Thanks, yogis. I will see you mañana.